Hi, Marissa. It's good to see you again. I see you're here to follow up on the pain you've been experiencing in your shoulder. I remember that I recommended you take diclofenac as well as starting some exercises for your shoulder at our last visit. How are those working for you? They're not. I don't know what to do anymore, Dr. Brown. We've tried all kinds of pain medications and I'm still in pain and I don't know what's causing it. For example, even the other day I was doing dishes and it's something that I've been doing for years and years and now all of a sudden I can't. I just don't know what to do. It doesn't make any sense. And my son is moving away soon and he's been helping with dishes and things around the house. What am I gonna do when he's gone? I have to be able to clean my house. Yeah, let's check that out. Have you taken any NSAIDs today? No, I stopped taking them. It's not like it was really making a difference anyway. Okay, I'm starting to think you might be experiencing chronic pain. Let's... What is chronic pain? Chronic pain is a type of pain that continues for long periods of time. It can occur for months or even years. Sometimes it happens after an injury is healed, but the pain won't go away, or sometimes the pain lingers or is amplified after a minor injury, or even happens with no clear cause. How can you experience pain without a cause? That doesn't even make any sense. Well, researchers are still trying to figure that one out, but they have found that there are three different types of pain, one of which is developed or amplified by your brain. Your brain unexpectedly alarms your body that it's in pain at times when it shouldn't be, and when there's no actual painful threat. So you're telling me this is all in my head? I'm making it up? Not necessarily. It's a little more complicated than that. Think of pain like an electric guitar. You have strings on the guitar that represent a stimulus. In your case, it's moving your shoulder to put away the dishes. Then you have the amplifier, which gets turned up or down depending on how loud the guitar is. For pain, this is where your brain comes in. Some people have a high amplifier setting, so they experience more intense pain than others. And some people have a low setting and seem like they experience almost no pain. Then there's the sound the guitar ultimately makes. On higher amplifier settings, you experience a loud sound or intense pain. This is how chronic pain works, when it's caused by the brain. Your brain is telling you that harmless activities are causing you a lot more pain than normal, and you may experience alterations in painful areas. All right, well then how do I turn down this amplifier? To treat chronic pain, we typically recommend lifestyle changes and alternative treatments, since pain medications aren't great at alleviating this type of pain. You have a few options for treating chronic pain. You can try exercising more, doing physical therapy, yoga or tai chi, or even acupuncture. Additionally, you might want to look into therapy to help reframe your thinking surrounding pain. And lifestyle changes like keeping up a healthy diet, getting enough sleep, and cutting stress can help. My suggestion would be to start with physical therapy. Do any of these sound like something you would try? Well, I think I could try yoga. I do have a friend that does these like free YouTube videos of yoga and she seems to like them and they seem to help, but do you think that could help with my shoulder pain? It may help, but there are no guarantees. Yoga is a great place to start, but if that doesn't work for you, we can try other techniques or even use a combination of techniques. This all sounds so complicated. I really hope that the yoga works because I can't afford to hire help and I cannot spend any more money on treatments. I hope it works for you too, but I can also prescribe amitriptyline, which will help you with your pain. It's different from other types of pain medication and you can expect to experience pain relief very quickly after taking it. Side effects of this medication include nausea, vomiting, drowsiness, dry mouth, and constipation, among other things. Do you have any other questions for me? No, I'm all set. Uh, how long should I expect the medication to last after taking it? And when should I come and visit you next? If you complete all your PT visits, take the amitriptyline as directed, improve your sleep and practice yoga, your pain should improve over the next three months. Yeah. I'm hopeful that this treatment regimen will work for you. However, there's no way to really predict how much pain relief you'll get from doing these things. It varies from person to person, but we will continue to watch you and figure out the best treatment plan for you over time. We may need to change the drug dosage as well, depending on how you respond to the medication. In the future, if you would like, I can refer you to a pain psychologist. The psychologist can help you develop coping strategies to better manage your stress. Is there anything else I can clarify with you before we leave? No, I'm all set for now. Thanks.